third time already this season, Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks have gotten it on with Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. So far, each team has won a game. Who shall win on Monday night when these two teams got it on? First and foremost, a scare heard around the basketball world, especially Milwaukee fans, as Giannis goes to the ground and it took the big fella a couple extra seconds to get up. You saw Drew Holiday, who wasn't playing in this game, clearly concerned. The Greek freak would get up and keep playing. And boy, did he ever 27, 8, and 4 for Giannis. He's in that LeBron spot in his career where he could just kind of shake those injuries off no matter how bad they look. Young was putting in some work, the floater, and then the stare down after Carter dropped to the ground. Young, yo, if you do not love Trey Young as a basketball player, he's very easy to dislike. The Hawks are up big as DeAndre Hunter knocks in the three, three of his 24 points. And then how about this dish from Young to Capella? Young in a very given mood this holiday season. Nine assists to go along with 21 points. The ATL's up 16 on the road, looking to get away from Milwaukee. Not so fast. Giannis trying to bring the Bucks back. This beautiful over-the-shoulder pass to Bobby Portis. But when it's all said and done, it's not going to be nowhere near enough. DeJounte Murray dropping in the midi two of his 19 points and Milwaukee's lost three games this year two of them have been to Atlanta they fall to 10 and 3 and how about Atlanta they now improve to 9 and 5 on the season so we had given Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks all the credit in the world for coming out the gate following their second round exit by the Boston Celtics they came out the gate this year firing on all cylinders they won their first eight nine games it looked like they had a chance if they wanted to to go for 70 wins if they really wanted to all of a sudden the Bucks rest Giannis or two you know Giannis for a game or two now they're resting Drew Holiday for a game or two and I'm thinking to myself okay it's like they put their foot on the gas out the gate they seen how great they could be and now they're taking their foot off the gas a little bit until Chris Middleton returns. And, and I don't know if that should be the mentality, but understand Giannis, as hard as he plays, is not going to be able to last every year without sustaining some type of major injury. You think just the way he plays, he plays so hard on both ends of the court. He's really in uncharted territory. Um, I haven't seen a guy play that, that hard since Tim Duncan on both ends of the court. So, I mean, at, at that size, I, I, I get why. The, the Milwaukee Bucks kind of have interest, speaking of Tim Duncan, that San Antonio cruise control mode, where they can beat any team in any NBA on any given night. But oftentimes, they just rest their guys. The, the, the thing that kind of scares me a little bit, even when Chris Middleton gets back in the lineup, is Greg Popovich is a great motivator of great players. And Mike Boonehoser, I don't know him personally, obviously, but I don't know if he's that. I, I the, Like, the thing the Spurs had, in the midst of their dynasty was pop motivating them, finding ways to get to them, chugging at them, finding ways to keep them engaged in the middle of November, the middle of December. And that, that is one thing that scares me a little bit. I'm, I'm looking at this Atlanta Hawks team. And again, Drew Holiday didn't play and Chris Middleton still not back from injury. Atlanta gave Milwaukee all they could handle in the playoffs a couple years ago. Now Giannis, uh, uh, even with Giannis being down with injury, the Bucks were still able to get it done and get to the NBA finals. And going to win a championship. But I'm looking at this Atlanta Hawks team with DeJounte Murray. Man, you're going to have to feel Atlanta this, this year in the playoffs. DeJounte Murray has taken some burden off of, of Trey Young. Some much-needed burden is off of Young. Atlanta, when healthy, are scary and dangerous. And I'm looking at these two teams battled out. And I'm thinking to myself, this could easily be a six- or seven-game series come May. And... You know, I think it's important for Giannis and the Bucks to continue to go hard in the regular season because I do believe home court is important. To And, and, and if, it, if it is a second-round matchup or a conference finals matchup against this same Atlanta Hawks team that's now beating them two out of three times. I know Giannis didn't play in one of the matchups, but still, 